Alright folks, I got something here that I can honestly say I think I've only ever had one of these before. It's kind of an unusual vehicle and you'll understand why as we go into it. This is a 2004 Dodge Sprinter 2500 high roof, I believe 141 inch wheelbase cargo van. Alright, now here's the thing. I got this van from a friend of mine that he bought this I think when it was almost new. I don't think it was brand new, but he bought it when it was almost new. And he put a ton of miles on this thing. In fact, he's onto his second Sprinter right now. But this one has, if I can get there, yeah, it is. Yep, you read it right, 322,209. Here is the crazy thing about these things. Ran the book value, I mean wholesale, like value, like what this is worth if I go to buy one, insanely high. Not because it says Dodge on it, I can promise you that. But if anybody knows anything about a Sprinter, this is basically a Mercedes-Benz van. It is not a Dodge van. Dodge just slaps their label on it and sells them. Uh, so basically what you're getting here is a Mercedes van. This engine runs so good and it is so strong with the transmission, you got to get a couple hundred thousand miles out of these things. They're well known, these diesel engines, for doing half a million miles easy without requiring any work. But that'll be up to you. This is not a perfect van. There's a lot of little crap wrong with it. So you're either going to have to be able to deal with that or fix it. It's up to you. First thing is, it's got a check engine light on. I have no idea why. I know nothing about diesels other than that you got to let the glow plugs warm up. Beyond that, I don't know. It does have power windows, which the right one, as you can see, works. No problem. Swing it on around this side. The left one, yep, which is most important, your driver's window, works exactly as it should. Okay, it's got uh, heated seats, which is kind of crazy. Power door locks. Uh, AM, FM, looks like an aftermarket, although I don't know what they came with. Radio. And if anybody's ever seen my videos, you know I hate these damn things. I have no idea how to get that to work, so I don't, I'm, it's lit up. Don't know whether it works. This climate control, typical Mercedes. I have no idea how to get this to operate. Uh, it does look like the little red light's on saying the air conditioner's working. I can't verify that. Looks like it's got a rear window defogger, which is kind of unusual for one of these things. I mean, this is just a really interesting vehicle. But, oops, sorry about the finger there. But here's the thing. This is not going to be a vehicle that you want to, like, truck your kids around in. This is a workhorse. That's what it's for. That's what it was designed for. And that's all it's good for. As you can see, the right power mirror works. Left power mirror works. These are all the important things, you know, that that stuff works. Uh, the interior actually is in pretty nice shape. I should say the cab area. I mean, it's not the cleanest in the world. I don't think we went through and detailed this thing. You can if you want. You know, the seats have a little wear and tear on them, as you would expect, but it's actually a pretty darn comfortable seat, and it's very adjustable, too. I'm really shocked by that. Dual airbags, all that good stuff. Okay, let's see. Let's go around the outside of this baby. We'll show you what we got. As I always like to do, we'll start with the uh, tires. This is a Michelin tire in the front, and I'll check the tread depth on that. If I can figure out how to do it the proper way. There we go. And we have 1230 seconds. Now, for a passenger car tire, that would be almost brand new, but light truck tires usually have a little bit more, so it's still pretty darn good. 1230 seconds. All right, rear tire, also a Michelin. This one has about 930 seconds on it, which makes sense. This is a rear wheel drive vehicle. So it, even if the tires were put on at the same so time, the, uh, what do you call it? It's the uh, rear tires always wear quicker. Oh, this one's not so good. That's about four to five thirty seconds. And again, another one, right front tire. That's about seconds there it is that one's about 9 30 seconds okay so moral of the story is you've got two pretty darn good tires on the front and one weak one on the back but you know what it's safe to drive so i wouldn't even worry about it all right here's the deal on the body on this thing it's got multiple little bubbles in the paint you know that we've we've covered up so they don't rust any further up high though the van actually looks pretty darn good and it's a nice big white one, so you can really advertise your company on this thing. Oh, jeez, I had to hit the door locks, I guess. 
Um, another thing about this van that I like is it's got uh, the remote keyless entry, which is always a very nice feature, but I don't have that with me. So let me hit the power door lock here. Unlock this which way? I don't know, let's see if that worked. Hopefully it did. Like I said, I'm not real familiar with these things and I have not driven this van a lot either. So I can't tell you more than just my initial impressions. Okay, here's the passenger compartment on this side. As you can see, not bad, it's pretty clean. I mean, this thing's, and it's empty on the inside. Yeah, I guess he put down plywood on the floor, which you can feel free to take that out if you wish. But I'll tell you, it's nice and high and it carries a lot of weight. But what he used to do is um, fix pressure washers and sell cleaning chemicals. So he has carried some weight in this thing. So there you go. All right, this door looks pretty good. There you have it. Uh, I don't know what to tell you about this sliding door. It does work because I've had it open, but for some reason, I can't figure out how to open it right now. All right, it's got swing out doors in the back with, as I said, a, uh, what you call it, uh, rear window defogger. There you go, we'll get a nice view of the inside. This thing is cavernous. <coughs> yeah, he used to run a uh, cargo van. In fact, I sold him his last cargo van. And he switched over to this, and now he's got another one. So I guess he really likes these babies. All right, and there's your rear bumper, step bumper, of course. Let's take a look, see underneath the back. There you go. Close this baby up. Looks like he's done some welding to the hitch here. Step back. And this side is pretty much like the other side, just some various little rust spots. Honestly, a little bit of sandpaper, a little primer would take care of the problem very easily. As you can see, no real huge amounts of uh, rot on it. I mean, it's got its little bit starting and everything you might want to take care of, but I just like to point that out. Driver's seat, most important one, because that's where your butt's going to be most of the time. Of course, there's the obligatory hole in the floor where your heel goes all the time. I mean, come on, 322,000, it's not gonna be perfect. This door looks to be in pretty good shape. Yeah, no major dents, no scratches, not bad. The hood, of course, does have a ton of um, stone chips, but again, that's something you would kind of suspect. All right, let you guys take a pin in front. Now, if you don't know anything about diesels, you might think, wow, that's noisy. Well, guess what? That's how diesels sound. They're supposed to. This is a five-cylinder Mercedes-Benz turbocharged diesel engine. And I know he's replaced the turbocharger on this, so you're going to be good to go for a long time. But this baby does run great. Okay? And I'll demonstrate that, actually, when we take it for a ride. As you can see, there's a little bit of rust around the window frame. You know, just typical, older, high mileage stuff. All right, but the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out for a ride. Oh yeah, here's one thing I wanna point out. It does look like there's a crack in the windshield. So at some point, I personally wouldn't do it, but you might wanna address that. All right, let's take it for a ride. Now, I don't know what the heck that's about, but apparently the camera felt like turning itself off. Isn't that lovely? But here, you get to see it accelerate again. Here we go. Yeah, you'll definitely have no problem getting up to speed in this baby. All right, what I'm gonna do next is a little bit of a, a um, brake test just to check the brakes out. And all I'm gonna do is pull into the vacant lot for cross street from my place, uh, let go of the steering wheel and slam on the brakes. I'll describe to you how they feel, but the only thing you can do visually is keep your eye on the steering wheel and see, um, it, you know, exactly, you know, if the steering wheel goes right or left or what have you. So here we go slow down. I do this usually at about 25 hands off and I'm going to give the brakes a week. It, they're weak. Um, they do have, it does have anti-lock brakes. It's got traction control, so it has to have anti-lock brakes. But I'm going to say that these brakes are definitely weak. 
Uh, I don't know if it needs a brake job or what, but I'd like to let everybody know exactly what I feel. Now, it stopped the van in a straight line, which is nice, it's safe, and it stopped it rather quickly. I could just feel by slamming on the brakes, they're not as strong as I would like brakes to be in a cargo van. They actually feel like the brakes in my tow va vehicle. I have the Suburban, it just, I don't know, I just am not confident in the brakes, but I've had them worked on, so I guess that's the way they are. Anyway, let's do a recap. This is a 2004 Dodge Sprinter 2500 high cube uh, work van. This is a work truck. That's all this is. This is not a pleasure vehicle. This is not a commuter car. This was designed for work. It has 322,212 miles on it now. And like I said, the book value on this thing is absolutely ridiculous. Probably retail. It's like six, seven, eight thousand dollars wholesale on it. I think it's like four thousand. But as I always do, because I'm not a greedy person and I like to give people a good deal, and I always take into account things like it needs a windshield, it's got a check engine light, the brakes, blah 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 blah. You'll be getting this for a great deal, believe me. Probably at or below the wholesale price on this. So you're gonna somebody's gonna end up with something a really good vehicle for a really cheap price. And as I said, this is basically a Mercedes-Benz, so ignore the Dodge symbol because you're actually buying yourself a nice, heavy-duty Mercedes-Benz. All right, that's it. I hope this goes to somebody who's going to make a lot of money with it. Thanks.